I'm making sure you love my city, okay? <laughs> Dang it, no, just kidding. My name is Rashawn Davis and I'm making my city a community. So I was born in Sacramento. Uh, my dad was in the army, so we did travel a lot when I was younger. And from sixth grade on, I've been here in Sacramento. And what I found a lot of as I was growing up is when we graduated from high school, a lot of people went to college other places and they wanted to get out of Sacramento. I had a kid at a young age. I was 20 when I had my first kid and I didn't want to leave him behind. And so I started looking around our city and saying like, why is it that people don't want to stay here? And it was always that people wanted to go and give their creative energy to some other city. So we had friends going to LA, friends going to New York, friends going to San Francisco. And to me, I was like, we need to do something about it. Who is going to do something about it and bring creativity here in a massive way? And that's when it first started, Unseen Heroes. We were thinking about it and, and saying like, what if we just gave our city a big hug and we dated our city and we went out and we found dope stuff to do. And if it didn't exist, then we created it. And so that's what we did. We started in 2008, just doing pop-up events and like, working with different small businesses and creatives and knocking on people's doors and saying like, yo, I know you know an artist, I know you know a maker, I know you know a designer, where are they at? And what we found is once we put the call out to people, everybody started to come out of their holes and it was like, yo, we have a dope community here. And so we just harnessed that community and for the last 11 years now, We've just been building and growing that community of creatives, makers, designers, chefs, entrepreneurs, community members to create these hubs where people can come together and connect and just have a good time. In 2014 is when really people started to know like who Unseen Heroes was. We took over an empty warehouse in Del Paso and turned it into a shopping space called the Good Street Food and Design Market. It was just the empty warehouse that we turned into a pop-up market. And from there, people really got to see like our creativity, they got to see like our design style, they got to see the aesthetic that we create in, and it really set a precedence for the city of what we could be. From the Good Street Food and Design Market, it was gathered, and so people in the area that lived in Oak Park saw what we were doing in Del Paso and said, hey, we want you guys to do that in Oak Park. But what we understand about community and what we understand about people is you can't do the same things every single place. And so what we did was we looked at what the neighborhood needed, we looked at what the neighborhood wanted, we looked at what the lack was in the neighborhood and we understood like Oak Park is a food desert. So let's create a food focused event that brings people together and gets people to talk and communicate. And so that's what Gather is. And somewhere in between there, we got asked to do the farmer's market in Midtown. At that point, it was like maybe 20 vendors. And it was just dismal and it was dying and it needed community and it needed love. And so we looked at it and we said, we're gonna give it a big hug. And we took that market and now it's over 100 vendors every single week. So the way that we look at events is totally different and is very creative in the way of like bringing the whole entire community into it and not just focused on one little piece. But it's been now 11 years that we've been doing that and just building community in all those different ways. Making my city lovable? No, we didn't say lovable, what did we say? Just love me! No, it's so funny, but people can't see inside and so they stop all the time and they like fix themselves. So it's just so funny. You're just like, uh.